productivity okay so um, as we all know that the energy from the sun is the basic from the sun is the basic source is the basic source of energy for any ecosystem okay it's the basic source of energy for any ecosystem so what comes to my mind is what do the components of the ecosystem do with this energy well this must be doing something with this energy that's why we are reading this under productivity right so let's study why or how this energy is being used for production okay so the first term that we have is is primary productivity okay so how will you define primary productivity primary productivity is the amount of organic matter or biomass in a sorry per unit area in a given time by the plants during photosynthesis right so primary productivity is the amount of organic matter or biomass per unit area in a given time prepared or you can say prepared or produced by the plant <clears throat> during photosynthesis okay so its unit is kilo calories per meter square per year right per unit area per unit time right so this was primary productivity now we'll see what is i'm writing it over here what is gross primary productivity you can even call it as gpp so what is gross primary productivity but before this let me tell you the rate of production is known as productivity okay so the rate of production is known as productivity well um i made a little mistake uh, this is uh, the definition of not the primary productivity but primary production right so primary production is the amount of organic matter or biomass per unit area in a given time by the plant during photosynthesis prepared by the plant during photosynthesis when the rate of production is known as 
productivity okay so what is gross primary productivity it is the amount of it is the rate of production rate of production of organic matter okay rate of production of organic matter this is called gpp well if we subtract the losses during respiration from the gpp we will get npp that is net primary productivity so gross primary productivity is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis right and if we subtract the losses during photosynthesis from the gpp we will get npp that is the net primary productivity okay so this is gross primary productivity and npp it is a important formula to remember now here i'll tell you what is spp or second sorry not spp it's sp which is secondary productivity okay so secondary productivity is the rate uh secondary uh productivity is the rate of is the rate of production of new organic matter by the consumers okay so after the primary production comes the secondary production or the secondary productivity which is the rate of production of new organic matter by the consumers okay so this was all under productivity so here we can see how energy is related to productivity because if there was no energy there would not have been any produce and to have a produce we need to have energy so you can say these two are interlinked right so this was all under productivity now we get to our third sub topic which is decomposition 